Mulweni UFS community and welcome to the beautiful South Campus. This year's host of the Kofsi Multilingual Mugeti. We obviously had to be within in order to know what the vibe is about. This year's theme is Come Breathe. I am proud to call myself a Kofsi. Okay, hi, beautiful ladies. Hi. First of all, I love your outfits. Could you tell me about that and your performances as well? Uh -huh. And what I can say about today's performance, man, it was amazing. Because I mean, we got to open the event. So that's like a great opportunity for us. It's like a grand entrance. Yes. Right? Yeah. So we were like the start of the whole event. And I think we did put some positive energy. That's yeah, lovely. so yeah. Good day, I'm at the Kofsi Maltilingwa Mukete. I'm with Liv Dai. One question I have to you today is, please tell us about your performance and how it ties into multilingualism. Okay, um, so um, I use three different languages. It sounds uh, extreme, but it's only Afrikaans, English, and Kosa in my performance. And um, the girl who does backing vocals for me also helps me write some of my songs or complete them. Uh, when she's the one who adds some Tosa and then also some rhythmics. Okay. And how many languages or cultures do you incorporate in today's performance? I would say three languages. Cultures, uh, I would like to say varies because it ties in uh, into genre and my genre is very versatile and what I write about is very versatile. Hi guys, I'm standing next to one of the performers at today's event, Mudiehi. Hi Mudiehi, how are you? I'm good, and you? I'm also good. Um, quick question, two questions. Um, I know that you're a performer, you're performing. Can you please tell us what was your performance and what was it about? Okay, I was performing as a poet with together with my group. We were four poets, different languages it was Sutu, Swati, Kosa and English so we were embracing our languages and then we were talking more about why is it important to be proud of your language that the power of a black person or of any other people it comes from the language so we should respect our languages Cool stuff, cool stuff. So I'm, 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 I'm going to put you on the spot. Um, can you please give us just a snippet, just a bit of your performance there for the people there? Fafata, ma fafata ni adipuo. Dipuo, tsaboruna ditle, dinata fale. Mamelang, tsaboruna dipuo. Little, 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 um, if you're celebrating multilingualism, you're celebrating um, um, the use of different languages um, in, in different domains in higher education. It could be in teaching and learning. Remember that you cannot divorce a language from a culture. So um, yeah, we're also um, celebrating our different cultures as well. How did the concept come about? And also, what does it mean? And how does it tie into the whole event? Um, come and uh, let us breathe. Uh, we're just saying that after COVID-19, remember we are confined in, in our homes and we could not go out and, and mingle and, and celebrate in events like this. So come let us breathe. Uh, it means that literally we're coming out of COVID-19. And in the context of the event now, we're breathing in different languages. We're learning new languages as well. Yeah, so come let us breathe. You breathe in your language, I breathe in my language. In the process, I learn your language and you learn mine as well. So let us come breathe in any other language. And then that is diversity. That's what we're celebrating today.
Could you recite something that you guys have performed today? Depends on the best Ndizikoke kuba sileli zifi amane. Ndikuke, ndikake, ndini kundi se, ndini boni se ukika no konda kuyam ingondo. Ewe kalo kundi ilango dinga zangu katwe kabakala bakeika bakonda na kukala kunam. Yeah, that's just a kiss. Wow, wow, that was incredible. I'm standing here with two performers, Jade and Saws. Because you guys are performers, I'm going to put you on the spot. I'm going to ask you guys to just give us a small and a thing for the viewers there. Um, do you have something? Can you? Yeah, we can. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Jade and Salt. Yeah. I'm hitting navigation, heavens never seem to find your heart You've been a halo to my cupid, but I never hit it dark hey. I finally found out why you my other half You embrace the better reflection of me It's eye to eye and I see eye Oh, what a surprise, we in this journal called life hey, You might be the guy you give me Hey, yeah hey. Whoa, the mic is burning, okay <laughs> you ladies to tell me a little something about your performance. First of all, I love your outfits. Thank and you so Please tell me how does this also interlink with multilingualism? Um, I think the fact that we are wearing different traditional attires, it helps us to dive into like the different cultures South Africa has and to also kind of like show people that we are a very like diverse group. So that's why we have like Kosa, Zwat, Swati, Venda and yeah. So we are showing multilingualism through our, through our attires. Good day, I'm with B and Big Dada, two of the headliners for the Kofsis Martin Wa Mukete. Um, so I want to ask you, V, what does language mean to you? Everything, it means we can relate, it means we understand each other, it means, yeah, that we are somehow interconnected as a whole universe. Yeah. Thank you. And Big Dada, I want to ask you, um, how many cultures or languages does your performance today incorporate? Ah, uh, wow. <laughs> can, I, can I name them, maybe? Yes. But it's actually uh, Sisotu, um, Sitswana, Tosa, Zulu, and slang. That's the language. That's a bit of a lot. Yeah. I'm looking forward to hearing that. Take it down, take it down now. Turn down the jealousy, calm down. Saba day ting ya ni lo. Red out kafula ni lo. Hey, da 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 da. You don't live in do. Yeah. Kere to hella bato bana limona. Hey, never balu. Kofsis, it's your fave Tyrone and I'm sitting with the country's fave, Loiso. So we're just going to ask you a few questions and find out what language means to you and today's performance. Um, so what does language mean to Loiso? Man, language is such a broad thing and I think it just brings an identity to a lot of people and it kind of shows where, um, where your heritage is from, where you come from and what you stand for. A lot of things in language actually are belong to a certain language and you can't find them in other in other languages, which is one of the craziest things. We can translate, but we can't really bring the emotion and the feeling of a language into another language, which is the craziest thing. When you The third installment of the Kossi's Multilingual Mugete certainly lived up to the expectation. It was all about drama, arts, music, and definitely the languages. I think it's safe to say that it's a wrap. This event has left us speechless with all the wonderful performances that we saw. And if you missed it, don't worry, we got you. You can check the highlights of the event on the Mugete page. That is www.ufs.ac.za forward slash Mugete. From us, the UFS social media squad, it's bye for now.